Hey guys, it's Christine. Welcome back and welcome if this is your first time here. So in today's video, we're going to be doing a jewelry clearance sale. And this is a little bit of a departure from my previous videos as I will be bringing back a lot of the older jewelry that you may have seen in previous videos and offering them to you at a discount. So if this is indeed your first time here, my name is Christine and my channel is called Girlio and I do direct sales through YouTube and I sell through Poshmark and eBay and yeah, if you, so if you see anything you like in this video, please feel free to contact me at girlyorocks at gmail.com and we can work something out. So all of the instructions on how to order are down below. I only do sales through email and not through the comments down below because that just gets too messy for me. But um, definitely email me if you like anything you see in this video. And yeah, let's start. So all of these items you guys have probably seen before, but I thought I would offer them to you before I go ahead and either lot them up in wearable or wearable in craft lots. So everything in this video will be $8 and under, and hopefully you'll find something that you may like in here. Okay, so first off we have this bangle that um, we offered. I think I found this in a thread up box. It's very pretty, it's this red burgundy color, and the only problem with it is it has a missing enamel right here. But other than that, it's in great condition. But because of that, I'm gonna offer this to you guys for a dollar. So all of these items that I'm gonna show you initially are a dollar. And this is for an each inch. An eight interest. So this is for an eight interest. Okay, so we have that. And then we have this Charming Charlie necklace. Very pretty statement guy. And it's gorgeous. Except I haven't had a chance to repair it. And there's something wrong with it. It's missing a rhinestone right there. If you can see that. And I found a rhinestone, and this I found in a thread up DIY box. I found a rhinestone, but it doesn't quite fit exactly in there. So I'll include that, but maybe somebody has a rhinestone that will fit better in there. But this thing is gorgeous, and because of the fact that it's damaged, it will be a dollar. We have this necklace. And it's a gunmetal, and it has these swirls in the back. Don't know if this is um, a particular brand, but it kind of reminds me of Betsy Johnson. But this one is missing two rhinestones right there. But because this is sort of dark, I think you can't really tell, and it's still quite beautiful. And it's on this really beautiful, sort of a smoky silver gunmetal chain with a lobster clasp. So. This one will be a dollar if anybody wants it. I think it's just very beautiful. We have that. Next we have this bobble bar. Really cute cuff bracelet. It has some flaws, it has some scratches, which is not a big deal, but it's missing a couple of rhinestones here throughout. You can see that. And then also, yeah, it's just got a couple of scratches and it says bobble bar right there. But it's really cute. I just um, thought maybe somebody might be able to fix that, or who doesn't mind. And this is six and a quarter inches around, and this will be a dollar too. Okay, and we have this Liz Claiborne, really pretty butterfly, brand new in box, right? Enamel pin, but unfortunately, there is some corrosion going on in the back, it's sort of like rust spots. I don't know if you can see. Um, there's definitely some stuff going on there. Let's see if I can zoom in so you can check it out. Um, and I did not attempt to clean this at all, but if you guys want to try, this little butterfly could go home with you for a dollar. Okay, so those are all the dollar items. Now I'll be going into the items that are five dollars, right? No, I'll be going into the items that are 
$3. Okay, so first we have this really beautiful necklace. And they're kind of heavy. It's not too heavy, but they have a little bit of weight to it. I did test these, and I think these guys are glass. But let me show you. I'm going to scoot you over here to the Presidium so we can see. And I'm going to test these guys. So they move up to glass. So these are glass. And then these beads here are glass too, I believe. Or some of them. I don't know. I've just had an inaccurate reading on this necklace. So I don't know if they're glass or acrylic or both. But you can make your own conclusions from what I've just shown you. And this guy will be $3. It's this really long necklace. And it does not have a clasp. It's really pretty. So we have that. I'm just going to be moving through these items really quickly because I have shown them to you before. And they are on sale and on clearance. Then we have these mega hoop earrings, very pretty. They're post earrings, very good condition. And this is the sort of thing I would post on my post on my Poshmark, but I just haven't had the time. So I'm just trying to move through things quickly. These are three inches around, really good condition, gold tone. And these will be $3 as well. Next we have this necklace here with all these charms. And it's got a little bit of wear throughout in that there's this little, there's like sort of an antiqued look going on. But it's in great condition otherwise. We have love and thankful, blessed, key, cross, all these lovely charms. And it's on a corded necklace here. And I won't be getting measurements on this, but I, yeah, I'll give you a measurement on this. Just trying to move through this quickly. This is 16 inches around the neck, and you have an extender. So this will be $3, too. Next, we have this guy that I got in a thread-up box. It's really sparkly. And these are some type of metal, I think. It does not detect it as... I think it starts beeping once I try testing it. Maybe not this time. So it's going up to glass, guys. Hmm. The Presidium is very finicky. But today it seems to want to tell me that this, oops, see, sometimes it detects. Okay. Yeah, so I don't know. I don't know if this is glass or some type of other material. But it's really cute and it's stretchy and quite lovely. And this measures approximately six and three quarter inches around the wrist. Really cute and beautiful. And there is a little bit of wear on the interior here. But um, I don't think it's anything major. So this will be three dollars if anybody wants it. Then we have these hoop earrings. They're textured and they're very shiny and they are on this ear wire, gold tone, really pretty. We'll take a measurement on these guys. Uh, from The hoop itself is about one and a half inches and it's total two inches around. Very pretty, unmarked. These are three dollars as well. We have these earrings, really fun. And I don't know if this is made of wood or some kind of shell, but it's lacquered and painted, really pretty. It has sort of like a tribal, artsy, uh, African vibe to it, really pretty. And these measure a total of three inches, very lightweight and very statement making. They are $3. We have these hoop earrings, very pretty filigree, gorgeous. They do need a little bit of polishing here as I'm looking at them. There's a little bit of wear actually on the hoop. 
nothing too crazy. They could use a good polish. It's the back of them. If anybody wants these, these will be three dollars. And we have this wrap bracelet. It has a magnetic closure and it has three strands and you can just wrap it all around. Three strands here and this one has a metal zipper type looking thing here and this has a feather binding and you could just wrap it around your wrist and then lock in that closure with the magnetic closure and then here you go very cute and this is an interesting print here it has sort of like a metallic camo print or painted print so if anybody wants that that'll be three dollars too and this measures really quickly 14 inches around so if you wrapped it twice, it'll fit a seven inch wrist at most. We have that. And we have this necklace. It's got these brass colored sort of bugle beads. And we have this lobster clasp. There's a little wear on the clasp here, but it's really pretty. At maximum, and have a wearable length of 18 inches around the neck. Very pretty. Love that. I love the color. And this will be $3 as well. Then we have this pretty silver tone bracelet. It has a little shoe here and then a little, whatchamacallit, seashell. And this measures 8 inches around. And this will be three dollars. Okay, and what else do I have? And we have this ring, really cute. It's got the, all the rhinestones there, and they look like links. And then continuing, the band is chain link. It's a really cute ring on. Really cute. And so this measures. I think it's for tiny finger. I would say comfortably it would fit a five to a five and a quarter. So we have that and this will be three dollars if anybody wants it. Really cute ring. Okay so moving on now we're going to go into the five dollar items. Okay so we have this beautiful art glass and it's got the foil and sparkles in there and it's on this corded it's on this cord it's a pleather cord I think and this one measures approximately give or take 16 inches around the neck really beautiful I love this and this one will be five dollars Next, we have this set of bracelets, stretchy. Stretches really good. And we have all sorts of beads here. And these look like heshi beads, heshi beads. But I'm not sure if they are really shallow or not. There's a little coin here. Really pretty. And this measures six and a half inches around. That's really pretty. Almost looks brand new. That will be $5. And we have this beautiful bracelet, filigree, very shiny, gold tone, stretch. Stretch is good, nice and tight. And oops, this one measures, I would say, five and a half. Hmm, it's hard to gauge this, but I'm going to guess it's comfortably, without being stretched out, five and a quarter inches around. So we have that, and that's $5. Okay. Then we have this interesting necklace, and I'm not exactly sure how to wear this, but the best way I can figure it out 
is to wrap it around your neck, and I think you can wear it as choker. It has this really, really gorgeous centerpiece here. It's made of these three linked findings with these gorgeous, gorgeous rhinestones. And just because of that, I think it's just so gorgeous. But it has this really, really long cord here. I can show you the cord here. It has these two finished ends. And the best way to wear this, I think, is just to wrap it around your neck. And I think you can wrap it around your wrist, too. So maybe I'll do that and show you. But you could also wrap it around your neck, and it looks fabulous on. But it does require a little bit of work, as I've discovered. Like that. And then you could tie a bow here at the ends. So we have this, and that will be $5. And yeah, be creative with that guy. I think it's also a great piece to just play around with. It's fun. So that will be $5. Okay, next we have these earrings. Very pretty. And we have all sorts of, I believe these to be glass, but I'm not sure. Let's see. This is glass. Yeah, glass. Glass. These are all glass. Beautiful beads, glass beads. And then we have this brass carved bead at the end and silver tone on the back. And they have a little bit of weight to them, but they are fabulous. And I love the 70s sort of boho chic look. And these will be $5. Speaking of boho chic, we have this necklace here. Really beautiful. And this feels cool to the touch. I wonder if this is glass. And it is glass. And I believe these to be glass seed beads as well. And it has a hook here. Shepherd's hook, right? And really pretty necklace. And the measurement on this, really quickly, is 20 inches around the neck. And this will be $5 if anybody wants it. And we have this beautiful wire wrapped bracelet. And it has a little fresh water pearl here. Really pretty. Looks like it's handmade. And let's get a measurement on this. This measures eight inches around. This will be five dollars. Really pretty. Could use a good uh, shining, but I think it looks great that way. Then we have these earrings, and I think I call these carrot and peas earrings. They have a pearl in the middle, and then we have these green beads here, and these orange amber kind of colored beads. And they are marked Japan on the back. Really pretty. And if they don't sell, I think I might put these up on my Poshmark store. But yeah, I think they're really fun. And these will be $5 if anybody wants. And I have this bracelet, really pretty. And these are hematite beads and findings. And I think these are glass. Yes, they are glass beads. Really pretty bracelet here. And this one measures, see, oops. this one measures seven and a half inches around. That will be five dollars. Then we have this little angel, and he is a pendant, or she is a pendant, and it has a little um, clasp jump ring here, which you could remove and just use this bail here, but either or. And this one is marked. DM copyright 95. He will be $5. Okay, and we have this necklace. Really pretty. It could be shined up a little bit. It has an enamel here and some illusion wire. There's a little kink here, but I think it's still gorgeous. It's a New York and Company, and this one will be $5. And we have a set of bangles, and these are all chevron design, and they're enameled, really pretty colors, orange, different shades of orange, and 
the cream and the purple. You can wear them separately. The set will be $5 and the measurement on them are eight inches around, $5. Then we have these earrings and these are glass. They look like smoky quartz, but they're bezel set. And these measure, let's see. These measure about two inches. Very pretty glass, not too heavy, just really beautiful. And these are five. Then we have this giant beauty of a bracelet. Um, it's quite heavy and it's a clamper. There is a little bit of scratching on the surface throughout, but it's still really pretty and dramatic on. And I think the right person might love that. And that measures eight and a quarter inches around and that will be $5. Okay. Next we have this Monet, very beautiful. It's white and it has the tag there. It says Monet. And this is the beautiful clasp here. I think this is really pretty. It's multi-chains here. And the top is really beautiful, but the bottom has some wear here. There's some discoloration and the loss of the white paint, unfortunately. And there is a little bit of wear in between here. But overall, I think it's still beautiful. It has that 70s kind of 60s boho vibes. And this will be $5. Okay, then we have this necklace. This is the top of it, and this is the bottom of it. And this bead here, I'm not sure what it is, but it will test on the Presidium as yeah, something. So we're gonna test this. And it comes up in the quartz amethyst citrine. So I wonder if it's a type of quartz, even though it doesn't quite look like it, but it's beautiful. It has all of these beautiful spots in it. And then we have these two pearls that dangle on the bottom. And these are they're moving towards glass, so I don't know if they're glass pearls, but we have these bugle beads here, these seed beads on one side, and then just two silver chains on the other side. And it's really long, very pretty. And you can certainly double it up like so. And if anybody wants this, this will be $5 too. Next we have these earrings, very pretty. These are acrylic, but a very pretty colorway with the peachy and the sort of yellowy and orange colors here. Very pretty for spring and Easter coming up. And these are just gold tone. There's a little bit of wear of the gold plate on the back of the ear hooks. It does not take away from the beauty of them and these are very lightweight because they are acrylic and they measure about three inches. If anybody wants these, these are five dollars. Then we have these beautiful earrings here. Really pretty coin sort of disc earrings and they have this enameled sort of leaf pattern and this, I'm not sure if it's glass or shell, but either way, they are very beautiful. And they have a little bit of weight to them, nothing too crazy, but they are very pretty. And I think they accent the face really well. And these are $5. Okay, next we have This beautiful necklace. We have this box clasp here. So I can get this to suit right for you. Beautiful box clasp. Just pinch it and close it like so. And these I believe to be glass pearls. They are moving towards glass. I could be wrong, but they do feel cold to the touch. They are very pretty and they have a very pretty white color to them. And these has a 12, and this has a 12 inch drop, 24 inches around the neck. That will be $5 if anybody wants that. 
And we have this lovely guy, really pretty ball here, sort of a swirl pattern into the other dimensions. It's really beautiful to look at and very trippy. But it has this interesting adjustable length here. So you can certainly wear it as a choker or as a longer necklace, which would be great too. Very versatile. And this one will be $5. Very pretty. That's the back of it. Gorgeous. And then we have this art glass necklace. Very pretty. Beautiful foiled painted design in there. And that's the back of it. And this one has a chiffon ribbon, I think. I think it's made of chiffon. And then we have these three strands here. And that's really pretty. It has a very romantic look to it. And this measures 16 inches around the neck. If anybody wants this one, this one would be $5. And we have this beautiful chain link, sort of like a watch wristband bracelet. And it has a fold over clasp. This one's really for a larger wrist. This one measures in at eight inches, but it's in really good condition. There are some light surface scratches throughout, but it's really pretty old tone. And that will be $5. Okay. And then we have this beautiful beauty and it's a heart. And we have this little opalescent looking stone here, but it doesn't test as anything. Let me just try again. Yeah, it doesn't even move towards glass. I believe it to be acrylic. It's really pretty, and it's on the silver tone chain. It's unmarked. That's the back of it. And the chain measures approximately, let's get a measurement, about 16 inches around with an extender. So we have that, and that'll be $5. Okay, so let's move on to the $8 items. Hey guys, so we have these earrings, and I believe these to be lapis, very pretty lapis lazuli. And these did not test to be sterling, even though they are marked 925 right there. And actually, I will try and test these one more time on camera, just in case I'm wrong. But they scratch pretty nicely and they sort of look like they could be sterling. I'm going to taste, test it. I'm going to test it with the 18K solution here and see if it turns bright blue. And if it does, then we have sterling. But unfortunately, this guy does not turn bright blue. It just kind of disappears. So this is not sterling, in my opinion. It could be some type of sterling alloy or it could just be marked. 925. But let's take you to the Presidium and show you that these do register somewhere in the Tanzanite Aqua family. So these are indeed, I believe, lapis lazuli. Beautiful earrings. Okay. Next we have. This pendant right here, really pretty designs here. We have a swirl and rectangles and marbleizing inside of the enamel. Really gorgeous and some rhinestones and it's brass. And this was marked gallery, $24. And I believe this to be, it has a magnetic closure like this. You flip it open and it's a very tight one. And actually I have another one of these that I plan to try and sell on my Poshmark store, but I just haven't had the chance because I want to match it with the chain. But it's really beautiful, and I've seen this sell on eBay. And this is a Premier Designs, and they called it an enhancer uh, pendant. So it's really beautiful, and this one measures two 
two and three quarters. If anybody wants this, this will be eight dollars. Okay, next we have this set with these beautiful earrings. And these are acrylic and it comes with a matching necklace. Here we go. And this one has a tag here and it says NRT. So that is an Avon brand. It has a matching necklace, matching earrings, and these are hooked like so on the original um, insert in the box, but I don't have the box. But these are very pretty and they kind of look like um, Nutting earrings that I have in my Poshmark closet, which are 10 times the price of this. So this whole set here for you guys will be $8. Then we have this beautiful pendant, art glass, really gorgeous. And I just love the colors in here. Really pretty Roy G. Biv colors. Well, actually it's not, it doesn't have all of the colors of the rainbow, but it's very pretty. And it's got this curved design and this is the back of it and that's the veil really gorgeous and this measures two inches around so this one because I think it looks a lot different than a lot of the art glass will be eight dollars very pretty would look great on a ribbon a cord a chain and next we have this necklace really bright gold tone with these pearls here and these pearls are definitely not real. They are faux pearls, but they do have sort of like kind of imperfections and they're like different sizes. So they kind of look like they're real, but they're not. And this is an Avon and it has a spring ring clasp and it's marked Avon right there. It's a really beautiful necklace. And this is the top of it and this is the bottom of it. And you can certainly wear it doubled up one measures in at 19 inch drop so that is is 32 inches around I believe we have this beautiful guy and this one will be eight dollars too okay next we have these earrings and they are a new day and they are a target brand they're sort of aligned with a minimalist style sort of like made well and they are sterling silver, nickel free. And there's the back of it, they're new on card and they are marked 925, right there. And these will be $8 too, very lightweight. And these measure about three quarters of an inch. Very cute and perfect for everyday wear. Okay, what else do we have? We have these 2028 earrings. Very pretty. And I don't know if these are glass. These just may be acrylic. Yeah, these are acrylic. They're very pretty. And it sort of looks like a marcasite design, but they're faux marcasite. They're just metal there. And we've got these black acrylic rhinestones really pretty and this one measures about three quarters of an inch very beautiful brand new on card great for gift giving they are originally from macy's originally 22 dollars and they could be yours for eight dollars okay next we have this beautiful necklace and it's really pretty. We have all these stones here. And these are three strands of, we've got these nuggets here. And then we have a strand of seed beads. And then we have sort of a different kinds of beads here. Really pretty colorway. And this is definitely choker length. So it could be a collar length for some. And so I'm going to take a measurement of this at its shortest. It's 14 inches wearable length with an extender of about 
two inches. And there is some wear on the back of here, but I think it's part of the antiques look, I believe. And I think these are all different kinds of beads. Some are, I think, wood. But then we have, let me just move her without disturbing Presidium. This one is, I think, tourmaline. Then we have this one here, which looks like it could be possibly citrine. Yeah, we have sorts of quartz. There are sorts of stones here, but um, pretty necklace. Kind of reminds me of Sopata style. And this will be $8 if anybody wants that. Then we have this really pretty necklace here. With these really beautiful beads here. See, they're painted. I don't know if this is cloisonne or not. I've not seen an, enough cloisonne to know if it is, but I think it could be. Really pretty beads here. Beautiful flowers and gold leaves painted on these beads. And we have the caviar beads here. And it has a spring ring clasp and it's not marked. It's very delicate and it's long. So this one measures fifteen inch drop, thirty inches around the neck. It's very pretty for layering. Gorgeous. And this one will be eight dollars if anybody wants this. Very pretty. Sort of a greenish bead. Really pretty. Like that a lot. Okay, next we have this beautiful necklace, and it sort of has, sort of has a tribal look to it. It's got these gunmetal pebble textured plates here, gunmetal chain, really beautiful. And this one measures very dramatic, 16 inches with a two-inch extender. Very beautiful, very lightweight. Makes a great sound. That's the back of it. And if anybody wants this, this again will be $8. Okay, guys, so that was my jewelry sale. So if you see anything you like in this video, please feel free to email me at girlyorocks at gmail.com with all of the items that you like. Preferably, if you give me a screenshot and timestamp, that would really help me process your order more quickly. It's first come, first serve. And... Yeah. So thank you guys for watching. And if all of this stuff doesn't sell, I think I'm going to lot everything up and put it in a wearable lot. But um, yeah, guys, thank you so much for supporting my channel, for watching, stopping by, spending some time with me. Really appreciate each and every one of you for watching, especially my OG subscribers and my new subscribers as well. Really appreciate each and every one of you. And again, I'm reaching 1,000 subscribers any day now. But once I do, I will be giving away some jewelry, of course. So definitely stick around for that. And please subscribe if you're not. And leave a comment down below letting me know what you thought of this jewelry sale, if you like this format or not. Also... Hit that bell notification on the way out to be notified of a future video just like this. And most of all, guys, be well.